Deserts are very arid biomes that receive little rainfall, and they can reach temperatures of over 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. The plants and animals that live in the desert have to adapt to these hot and dry conditions. Plants lose water as it evaporates from their leaves during the hot day. Many plants in the desert have small, narrow leaves like this Joshua tree, or no leaves at all like this cactus. These adaptations reduce the amount of water that's lost by these plants through transpiration. Plants that live in the desert grow slowly because they do not have much rain, and they often store water in stems and leaves. Plants that store large amounts of water in fleshy stems and leaves, like this aloe plant or a cactus, are called succulents. The root structures of desert plants are also adapted to the dry conditions. Rain in the desert is very rare, so some plants have roots that are wide and shallow, so that when the rain does fall, they can absorb as much of the water as possible very quickly. Other plants have roots that go deep underground to find water that's far beneath the hot surface. Because water and nutrients are so scarce in the desert, it's more difficult for desert plants to recover from being eaten by herbivores. Because of this, many desert plants have defenses against being eaten by animals. The spines of a cactus are a great example of a defensive adaptation. Animals must also adapt to the hot and arid conditions of the desert. The large ears of this fennec fox are full of blood vessels. The because these blood vessels are so close to the surface of the animal, they're able to radiate heat away from the fennec fox's body, cooling it down. Many animals, like this kangaroo rat, stay out of the hot desert sun by living in burrows. Burrows can provide protection from the sun and predators. And many desert animals are nocturnal and only come out at night. This adaptation allows these animals to avoid the hot sun entirely. Animals store extra energy in their bodies in the form of fats. But fats, which are a type of lipid, are very good insulators of heat. That's not good if you live in a hot desert. So many animals keep their fat in a single location in their body, like their tail or in a hump, instead of surrounding their entire body with a layer of fat. This allows these animals to lose heat to their environment instead of holding heat in their body, which is very important so that they don't overheat in a hot desert day. Water is an extremely important resource in the desert that can't be wasted. So, instead of urine, many desert lizards excrete solid uric acid. This allows them to remove waste from their body while retaining as much water as possible.